her first love was blueberries. Today we'll be making realistic polymer clay blueberries and a polymer clay fruit cane. This is certainly Caroline with more polymer clay fairy tale nonsense. Of course, realistic polymer clay blueberries look great in the kitchen of a fairy house, but you can also create fantastic jewelry for humans. Really, there's not much to it except to screw in an eye pin before you bake. To make the polymer clay blueberries, I start by making a simple tool which significantly reduces my time spent sculpting each blueberry. I found a wooden stick about as thick as the crown of a blueberry. I wrapped a thin layer of polymer clay around it. I baked it and slid it off the wooden rod. And finally, I thinned out each end with my X-Acto knife. One end is thinner than the other for when I sculpt smaller blueberries. To make that luscious blueberry color, I used half translucent clay and the other half is colored clay. Of the colored clay, I picked the same amount of blue and purple and also a bit of black. Roll it into a blueberry shaped ball and dust with white pastel. To make the blueberry crown, simply push the tool into the top of your blueberry and create a jagged edge by dragging a thin amount of clay onto the tool. The tool makes it ridiculously easy to sculpt the, the thin petal shapes of the blueberry crown. You're gonna love how quickly this goes. After removing the tool, very softly pinch the berry back into shape. Now just push the middle in a tad with a ball tool or a blunt rubber tipped tool. Sometimes I even use the other end of a paintbrush if I can't find my other tools. For the little dot in the center of the crown, just add a touch of brown clay. To make the bottom of the blueberry, simply push in very slightly with a small ball tool or the rubber tipped tool and then add a tiny ball of brown clay. Color the blueberry with white, red, bluish gray, and black pastels. Shave the pastels with your X-Acto knife and use a dry brush to apply. Add a good amount of white all over the blueberry. Use black pastel on the edge of the crown and also on the interior of the crown. And top that off with a little more white. Pause here and there while you're working to very softly go around and pinch the blueberry into that lovely blueberry shape again. Dust with the red just in some places and then go over the red with the white. To make the green ones, you'll need mostly translucent clay with just a little bit of the lime green clay. Use the tool in the same way that you did with the blue blueberries. For the green blueberries, you're going to mostly need your red pastel. Not so much the white because it covers up the translucent quality of the green blueberry. Use some black around the edge and then feather it out with a dry brush. To make a polymer clay fruit cane, the first thing to do is cut open your fruit and examine what's inside. You want to note if there's a pattern, if there's a gradient in the color. You also want to note how wet and transparent the inside is. If your fruit of choice has a starriation pattern, such as an orange, a lemon, kiwi, or a blueberry, you'll want to focus building one triangular section at a time. Then you combine the triangles to make a circular shape and reduce the size by rolling it out. That's the basic concept of a polymer clay fruit cane. I used black, purple, blue, green, lime green, brown, and a lot of transparent polymer clay. I decided on two main colors, a green and a purple. For the green, I mixed a whole lot of translucent with an olive green and a lime green. For the purple, I mixed lots of translucent and blue and purple, olive green, and a little bit of dark green. So that's how I got my two main colors. I broke both the main colors up into six separate balls, each ball a bit smaller than its neighbor. And I combined the greens with the purples to get six balls gradually going from a purplish color to a very light green. Oh, I also combined a little black and a little brown for the seeds. I cut off a bit of the lightest green color and roll it into a snake. I add two snakes of the brown for the seeds, one on either side. Roll out your next shade of light green, flatten it a bit, and place it on top of the three other snakes so it covers them. Roll out your next shade, flatten it a little, and add it on top of the others. 
shape the cane into a triangle. Roll out your next shade, flatten it a little, and add it to your triangle. Make that triangle shape after adding each new shade. Don't worry, the triangle thing is going to make sense. Cut your triangle in half so you have two triangles. Now we'll add striations to our pattern. I combined translucent and a little lime green and rolled it out in my pasta machine. Cut out two strips to fit on one side of each triangle. Combine your triangles by pinching them together while trying to maintain a triangular shape. cut off the ends just for the sake of neatness. Slice your triangle into two equal pieces. Combine them and shape them into a dome. Now cut the dome in half and put the two pieces together to make a cane. Next, you just want to roll the cane out to reduce the size. I'm going for the thickness of a regular blueberry. To make the skin of the blueberry, I chose mostly translucent, blue, purple, and just a little bit of black. I combined those colors, put them in my pasta machine on the thinnest setting. If you don't have a pasta machine, just use a regular hand roller. And I rolled the skin onto the cane, working the skin thinner as I rolled. off the ends by pinching them a little. Gently cut the end off. You may want to put your cane in the refrigerator before you try cutting it or you can just do it ever so gently. And there you have the insides of a blueberry. Now just pinch the other end, roll it into a blueberry shape, then sculpt the blueberry top and bottom the way I showed you at the beginning of the video and color it with your pastels. Now for the most fun of all, Cut through your fruit and see what's inside. Does it look real? All right, maybe not yet, but we're getting there. Now just add some texture with a toothbrush and a needle tool. Because of the translucent clay, the seeds currently have a kind of a buried look within the blueberry, which is great, but I want control over where my seeds are. So I just made some very tiny seed-like balls out of black and brown clay and added those to the inside of the blueberry. Bake it and then finish the inside with a varnish. I used triple thick gloss varnish. And enjoy your strange little creation. So I'd love for you to subscribe and when you do, make sure you hit the bell icon so that you can be notified when I upload a new video. Thanks so much for watching. <music>